Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how to set up your criteria within your crystal report. So let's say on this report, we have the records from France, Hungary, Italy, Spain. So let's say you only want to see the ones from Italy only. So, uh, or you just want to see the ones from Italy and France, or you want to put in a date range. Uh, let me show you how to exactly do that. You're going to go up here and you're going to go into this icon that's called the selection expert. Now you can put as much criteria as you wanted to, but you have to put it in one field at a time. So first we'll pick the country. I just double clicked on that. Now many times you can set up your criteria using this visual format. So I'm going to click on this pull down and look at all the different ways you can set up your criteria. Is equal to uh, is when you want an exact match. So if I want all of the records from Italy, I'll say is equal to Italy. Or we have not equal to, the, the, that would be the ones that are not Italy is one of would be where it's a list of items. So let's say we want Italy and Spain and Germany at the same time. Then we would use is one of. That, that allows you to pick uh, more than one value for the same field. Or of course we have is not one of. It's not part of the field. Less than, usually you would use that with a number or with a date. But in a text field, that means that, that it, it would be alphabetically before um, that text. Less than or equal to. Greater than means it's alphabetically after that text or of course greater than would also work with numbers and with dates between is for a range so maybe you have a range of numbers or a, a date range you would use between there of course we have is not between starts with means the first couple characters are going to be a such and such does not start with is like is more uh, like a wild card type of situation so let's try is equal to and then many times in this second pull down it's going to pull the values right from the table. So I'm going to pick on Italy. That's very helpful. This way I don't have to type it in. I can just uh, you know, pick them from the list. So now it's only going to show the records whose country is equal to Italy. When I click on OK, I'll do a refresh. Notice how it's only shown the records from Italy all the way throughout the entire report. Uh, let's try, let's say this time I want to show Italy and Spain and France. So we're going to go back into the selection expert and we're going to go ahead and say is one of. Is one of means we can pick more than one. So now over here I'll pick on uh, Italy and France and Spain. Now when I click on OK, we'll do a refresh and notice now you have the records from France and Italy and Spain. Uh, the next one I'd like to show you would be a date range. So uh, let's say we only want the records from August. So in this case, we'll go back into our selection expert. We already have the criteria for the country column. So now we're going to add some more criteria and pick on the word new. By the way, the word new here and the word new over here, it means the same thing. So I'll pick on new and then you would pick a different date or excuse me, a different field. In this case, we do want the date. So I'll double click on date. Now, um, with a date, we have the same kind of criteria. Uh, so a date range would be between, or if you want something earlier than a date, you would say less than. If you want to say something uh, after a date, you would say greater than. If you wanted an exact date, you would say is equal to. Or to match several dates, it would say is one of. Uh, but we're going to use um, between so let's go ahead and now I'll just type in um, a beginning date and an ending date. Let's say I want uh, August 1st of 1998. What I'm showing you here would work with any date criteria. Then uh, we'll put in August 31st of 1998. So it's going to show us any record between those two dates and including those two dates. So if there's any from August 1st, then it'll include that as well. Oh, and by the way, they also have to be from Italy and France and Spain at the same time. I'm going to click on OK. Now we'll do a refresh. Now notice how it's only showing me the records from August that are also from France and Italy and Spain at the same time. So that's how you're going to put in your basic criteria. We go over into the selection expert and you can put as much criteria as you wanted to.